leadership by itself is gender agnostic. If you look at my journey on leadership, I have been a finance professional riding onto the CFO positions for last decade. But if I were to define myself as a manufacturing leader in manufacturing industry, I'm equally up there, not as a lady, but as a leader. Getting up to the leadership role, it's not going to be easy. There will be multiple challenges. There will be a lot of bias you'll have to push through. But uh, if you wait for the bias to end, it's a long wait. I think we all have to recognize the fact that we are not living in an equal world as of now. And it is important that you learn to stand your ground. Uh, bias is going to be there, but you know you, you like you. So just stand up for what is right. Equality is not a gender issue. It's actually a business issue. Most of us would have challenges as we rise up the leadership levels. And what are those challenges? The challenges are our own limitations, emotional limitations, social contexts, and barriers within ourselves. If we are willing to walk the path, there are people on the other side to extend their arms. And that's where I would say the challenges are more so within us rather than on the acceptance of a lady as a leader. Discrimination is all across, not only in the world where women and men are competing, but even within men. There could be discrimination within people coming from two different cities. There could be religious discriminations. There could be gender discriminations. There could be color discriminations at work. But again, I would want to say the same thing, that competency prevails over all discriminations. Women start with great aspirations, but uh, somewhere along the way, uh, they get dis disillusioned or they fall out of the curve or some other social pressures come and affect them. And it's a fact. Yes, we do have to do a lot of multitasking, like, uh, if you're planning for a child or if you have a domestic life, you'll have to balance all of that along with your professional career. But my one ask to you is to stay focused. There is not just one way to get to the end goal. There are myriads of opportunities out there today. Uh, it's not just the traditional path you need to look for. Uh, figure out if um, any other opportunity can make sense for you and uh, don't give up. It's most important as a leader to be able to drive the objective, the content, the competency within us. Drop out the hat of being a diverse gender, of being a female, and that's where leadership would really start reflecting. Learn to partner with your family and your colleagues. Don't think the world rests only on your shoulders. It is for us to showcase on our capability, on our competency, on our drive to deliver and on our ambition to rise up to the top positions, to be leaders in our spaces. And that's where I would say leadership matters. Women as leaders do matter which you get the change in the world. I look forward to the day when uh, my daughter can grow up and say there is no longer a women's day because uh, there is gender parity and equality for both men and women in the world. When women are almost half the population, isn't it ironical that we need a day to celebrate womanhood and remind us of her good virtues? So to me, every day is Women's Day. It's a day to deliver a message to the world. Guys, here we are to change the world. Wish you a very happy Women's Day.